didn't get a workout today because of the shoulder, but yeah. uh, you had to have been pretty confident with how you did in the combine. Yeah, I was confident in that. So, you know, not being able to work out was fine. Um, and I'm glad I did good at the combine. Or probably would have been dreading not able to work out today. So, <laughs> What was it like not being able to work out? Seeing those, those other guys and you're part of this draft class. But, yeah. uh, you know, how, how was it different being out there watching? Today? Yeah. It was, it was fine. You know, I knew I had to get my shoulder fixed. I knew that was more important towards my career. Um, so it was fine. How do you think your shoulder, you know, what's, what's kind of the timeline in terms of, you know, being able to get back at things and stuff like that? What's yeah. kind of what's yeah, the so status? I've been, I've been doing stuff like PT stuff for the last couple of weeks now. And um, I will be 100% by July. But I'll be doing stuff before that. Like I'll be running and doing football stuff. But actually 100% at my peak, I'll be July. Is the timing unfortunate, or I mean, or is it a good time to get it cleaned up? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's the best time to get it cleaned up right now. Um, like, it sucks not to be able to work out right now like I want to, but I'm still able to do stuff, you know, walking and on the treadmill, things like that. And uh, this is, like I said, this is more important than working out right now is getting healthy. Have you been told at all how it might affect your, your draft stock? I mean, obviously you might be able to help yourself with some of the workouts and stuff. I mean, do you think it'll impact where you might go? Uh, I don't think so, just because I know I'm going to be healthy and, and they're going to be able to see it for themselves before they even draft me. And um, I mean, this, this injury is really common between, you know, the NFL and the guys coming up. And I'm not the only guy that had a surgery on the shoulder, so I don't think it's going to be You were playing with that for a while while you were here? I mean, yeah, I've been playing with it for a year and a half while I was here. So uh, I played through it, you know. So, How much did it impact you? Uh, a little bit, you know. It's a shoulder, it's, it's torn labor, so I mean, a little bit. You still did okay. So. Yeah. So. <laughs> I, I think I could have done better with a healthy shoulder, which is kind of crazy. But what, 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 has, what has the feedback been then from you know from scouts or whoever ever since the combine? Oh, uh, you know, they're just talking to me, just you know, trying to get to know me and things like that. You know, a couple visits, a um, couple of interviews. So it's nothing really major. Any, any visits you have scheduled or that you've done? Uh, I have a couple of scheduled uh, next month. Who, who do you got? I can't really say. Is, is it a, a couple of them though? Yeah, it's okay. a couple. It's okay. a couple. What the, like I guess, yeah, what was good buzz after the combine? I mean, yeah, I got I got really good feedback, you know, just my athleticism, you know, the way I caught, caught the ball, did some receiver drills as well after the running back drill. So, in the 40 yard dash, running the 4 4 is really good. So, um, got some really good feedback. What the, what are the moments like, like after you rip off a 40 and you're kind of waiting to see that, you know, official time and you might <laughs> feel good, but you really yeah. don't know until you, yeah, yeah, you see if it's. I mean, you always, you most of the time you're going to feel good, but I mean, it's guys like in the end zone that got their phones out and you're like scrolling to see what everybody got. <laughs> so, you like trying to hurry up and get back to the end zone and see what you got. So, I mean, that moment you're like, man, I please tell me I heard that fast time. <laughs> Because I only get two attempts, but yeah, it's, it's all fun. We know that uh, Jay's been a pretty good mentor for you. How how has that relationship continued over these last nah, couple of me, months? Me and Jay not friends anymore. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Yeah, man, me and Jay, we, we real tight. Um, still like a big brother to me. Um, the whole process, combine, training, everything. Anything I need, I call him, you know, any advice, anything like that. So, um, <laughs> He's been a real asset to me. What, what did you, you know, what did you want to show the, the NFL scouts? If there was maybe a question mark about you or anything like that, was there anything that you really wanted to prove? Yeah. In, my in, speed, in, mm -hmm. um, my feet, vision, you know, catching the ball, just making sure they know that I can catch the ball. Um, but mainly just my speed. It, it's deep running back class and stuff like that. And you're obviously being a part of it. What, what's that kind of like? Just knowing that you know there's. You know, there's a lot of guys right. you know, like yourself who are trying to, you know, compete. Yeah, and I get mean, it's fun. Like you're in the, I'm being in the top running back class in the last 10, 15 years, and your name is still getting brought up. It's, it's, it's good. It's a good feeling, and uh, competing with those guys is, is good as well. You know, less than four weeks away from the first round, I think. I mean, is he starting to get nervous? What are kind of the feelings nah, here? I mean, you're a couple man. weeks away from your dream. Yeah, I'm not nervous at all. Everything's out there. My resume's out there. My film's out there. The times are out there. Nothing else for me to stress about. Everything is out of my hands at this point. So I'm not going to stress about anything. Whoever wants me to fall in love with me, hey. With uh, right around the NFL Combine, there was a stat that came out, uh, Pro Football Focus, I think, that said had like 290 dropbacks. You missed one pass block assignment. Yeah. Do, do, do you remember that one pass block I assignment? I do remember it. I accidentally went out for a pass. So guy got came free, but it's all fixed now.
<laughs> Brett, Brett had your back. He said that he didn't remember it, so he said but, that he didn't. Yeah, he, he, he I, the sound I told him. Wrong. I told him, but uh, you know that's, that stuff sticks in my mind. Like I don't like missing blocks at all. Like that's one of my huge assets. Here protecting the quarterback and protecting the whole line. So, I mean, having that one still, like, bothers me a little bit because I want to be perfect. But, I mean, it's always good to learn. Which game was it? it? What was it? Oh, man, it was – I can't remember. Did it you? was on the blue, though, this year. Okay. I just can't remember the exact game. But I know the moment. Did you catch the pass and go for, like, 60? No, I'm no. just kidding. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, like, is that, is that something, though, that uh, – how much does that help? I mean, we talk about versatility, and that's something, I mean, if you want to be – be on the field on third down, you yeah. almost have to do these days. Yeah, being versatile, I mean, that's that's the next step in the NFL. Like, you have to catch the ball down at the backfield. You have to be able to protect these quarterbacks getting hundreds of millions of dollars. So, uh, I think being a complete back is one of my biggest assets. Uh, just, a, just a hypothetical, man. What what uh, will that late April date be like as you kind of wait to hear your name called and then, you know, when that does happen, what, what's that moment going to be like? It's going to be crazy, man. I'm probably going to get a little emotional. You know, just because I know all the all the ups and downs and a lot of downs, you know, and uh, you know, just finally making it to my dream and uh, you know, experiencing with my family and my friends it's gonna be a moment I'll never forget. Do you have a dream?